Hey everyone, it's Yoshi100 here, and I'm here with another Poyo tutorial. In this video, I'll be explaining the form that is, uh, what is it? Sandwich. Right. First, I'll show you the form itself and what it looks like. Okay, that was about to start, but uh, it doesn't matter. As you can see, I'm just placing these to the side for now because they're not very important. And that's basically what it is. As you can see, this blue will fall, the red will fall onto the reds, the green will fall into the greens, like this. And... There we go! That is the sandwich! Now the reason why it's called sandwich, well, that's because, as you can see, this red is in between the blues, like a sandwich, this green is in between the reds, this blue is in between the greens. There we go, I have recreated the chain again. Uh, useless for now. Now I'll explain how you build the chain. You start by putting two of whatever colour onto the ground, similar to the stairs, except that you're only putting two. Oh dear. Uh, this doesn't look good. Let's try this again. I wanted to just make it a bit simple to start off with. There we go, here we do, I um, mean here we have it. Now this time, you do the same thing as stairs. Put it to the left or the right, depending on what side you're building. Put these to the side. Here we go, the blues are here, the greens are here, the reds are here. Now on top, you need to have the same colour as the one that you have built below it. You can see, greens, and then a green. Reds, red. Greens, and a green. However, the last one, over here, has to have two of it. Because there are only two there. While in the other ones, it will connect with four of it's the same kind while it falls. And once again. Laying on the twos to the left of it, starting this bit, there's the stairs again, I mean not the stairs sorry, the sandwich again, next, again, and now the greens. Just like stairs, it can be built on the other side. And the same rules apply. Remember, if you're running out of space, to get rid of some of the spare remaining foyers on the side. Well, there it is again. Now, another version of this is a bit different, but can also be useful. This is where you only put one on the bottom and put the two on the top instead. This one's a bit trickier because the poyo you need are a bit more specific in order to create it correctly. Got to keep trying. Here we go. Just like this. Oh, well, just get rid of these. Here it is. 
as you can see these, it's like if you turned it upside down, it looked the same as the normal one. This one is useful for other uses. For normal chaining, you should probably use the other one. However, this one will be useful later on when I explain some more advanced forms. As you can see, it works in the same way. Just remember to have enough of each colour. Well, that's basically that all there is to the stairs tutorial. Here we go, I got a better set this time. I usually just repeat something just to clarify and show it off again just so that you get the drift. These, 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 and these. All part of the chain. As you can see, these two reds are useless at the moment. Well, that is the end of my sandwich tutorial. Hopefully you've learned how to use it properly. 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 Now, next time, I'll be teaching a key or GTR. I'm not sure. I'll do some research before that episode or part of this tutorial. Um, yeah, I'll double check on what it was. But hey, keep practicing, Poyo, and I'll see you next time.